Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through some of the problems on the 7C assignment. I'm going to start here with number one. Find correct to three significant figures the measure of the angle marked theta. So let's uh, have our good friend Sokotoa help us out with some of these. Okay, so here's Sokotoa. So let's see, from this angle, this is the hypotenuse, and this is adjacent. So hypotenuse and adjacent is cosine. So we're going to do this cosine of theta equals cosine is adjacent which is 3 over hypotenuse which is 5 okay so use our handy dandy graphing calculator um, let's see how oh, clear is what I want let's make this look a little prettier there we go so if you're looking for an angle what you have to do is you have to do second cosine so for most calculators it's second cosine because we're doing the inverse of cosine so we're given the ratio now we're gonna we're gonna have them tell us what angle that would be okay so second cosine of 3 divided by 5 equals 53.1 degrees to three significant figures so theta equals 53.1 degrees on that one okay for D, let's see, this here is the hypotenuse. This is opposite. Opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So I'm going to do sine of theta is going to equal opposite 2.3 over hypotenuse 3.4. So to find out what our angle is, we want to do second sine of 2.3 divided by 3.4. And that gives us 42.56, so 42.6 degrees. Rounded to three significant figures. Okay? And then E here, from our angle, let's see, this is opposite. This is the hypotenuse, so that makes this the adjacent. So the opposite and adjacent are two that we know. And so that's going to be mean that this is tangent. So tangent theta is going to equal opposite, which is 1, over adjacent, which is 4.1. So theta will equal, uh, let's see, there we go. We've got second tangent of 1 divided by 4.1, 13.8. For this one here okay okay uh, consider the triangle alongside find theta correct to one decimal place so here's theta so we're gonna find this so from this angle let's see this is hypotenuse no matter what angle and then from this angle this is the adjacent so hypotenuse and adjacent for a is gonna be cosine so we would do cosine theta equals adjacent which is 5 over hypotenuse which is 9 so we would do second cosine 5 divided by 9 gives us 56.25 or 56.3 56.3 degrees okay now find uh, I can't remember what this one's called, but find this angle here using the angles in a triangle theorem and then also in trigonometry. So for part B, um, so we know that all the angles have to add up to 180, right? So this angle here plus theta, which we know is 56.3, plus this angle here, which we know is 90, all have to add up to 180, right? So, we do 56.3 plus 90 is 146.3. So, this angle is going to equal, uh, let's see, theta plus, I'm sorry, the, I can't remember what that is. I really, I'm, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to figure it out. It's phi. Uh, I thought that it was phi, but I just wasn't confident enough. So, anyway, that's called phi. So, phi plus 146.3 equals 180. Subtract 146.3 from both sides and we get that phi equals, let's, I'm just going to 
cheat here and subtract 180 from the 146, and I know I get the positive answer to that, which is 33.7 degrees. So that is using part one, the triangles in a, the angles in a triangle theorem. Uh, part two says use it, find it using trig. Okay, so this one here. This angle is still the hypotenuse, but now from phi, this is going to actually be the opposite instead of the adjacent. So now we would use opposite and hypotenuse, that's sine. So we would do sine of phi equals 5 over 9. So we would simply do second sine of 5 divided by 9, and we get 33.7 which is exactly the same as what we got there. Honestly, I think this way is faster, but either way works. Okay? Okay, find correct to one decimal place all unknown angles. So, um, doesn't really matter which one we start with first. Um, theta is a more common one, so I'm just going to start with that. This is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent, right? So hypotenuse and adjacent is cosine. So I would say cosine theta is going to equal adjacent, which is 10, over hypotenuse, which is 13. So if I do, let's see, so we would do second cosine 10 divided by 13. Right, and that's 39.7. Okay, is theta. Now, a little bit of a shortcut here is we already know that that's 90 degrees have been used here. So to find phi, we can say phi is just going to be 90 degrees minus 39.7 because we know that these two together have to add up to 90. Right? Oops, I wrote the wrong, wrote the wrong symbol here. B equals 90 minus 39.7, right? So look, we already have 39.7 in there. If I subtract 90 from it, I'm just doing the opposite. I'm, I did 39.7 minus 90, so I just know it's going to be the opposite sign. So it's going to be 50.3. V equals 50.3 degrees, right? Or, again, you could have used this and said, oh, that's opposite and hypotenuse. So you could have done sine. So we could have done this, sine of phi equals 10 over 13, because it's sine is opposite over hypotenuse. From that, that would actually be the opposite. So then we could do, so or, sorry, and then we could do second sine of 10 divided by 13. And guess what? 50.3. I mean, like, look, the exact same number here. So we get phi equals 50.3 degrees there also. Okay. Uh, moving on here to number four. Try, try to find theta in the following diagrams. What conclusion can you draw? Try to find it. There it is. But, um, okay. So if we try to do that, this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. So this would be sine. So we can do sine theta equals opposite, which is 6, over hypotenuse, which is 5. So if we do that in our calculator, and here's why they're saying try, I'm going to do second sine of 6 divided by 5, and guess what? Error. You cannot do that because your hypotenuse always has to be the longest side here, right? And 5 is not longer than 6, so there's no way that you could figure that out because this triangle is not possible. Okay, what conclusions can you draw? This triangle is not possible. That's our conclusion. Okay, uh, number five, five, find all unknown, unknown sides and angles in these figures. Okay, so let's just kind of one piece at a time, I guess. Um, to figure out this one here, I'm just going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right, so 3 squared plus x squared is going to equal 4 squared. 9 plus x squared equals 16. Subtract 9 from both sides. x squared equals 7, so we find the square root of 7. And that is going to be what this is here. 
Um, square root 7 gives us 2.645, so I'm going to go 2.65 if we round it. So 2.65 is this length right here. Right, and let's see if this is 2 and this is 2.65, we can actually find out. It says all unknown sides and angles in these figures. Um, I guess that doesn't mean that we have to actually find what these angles are. I guess it's just the x and the theta. It's just the x and the theta. So um, this angle here, um, from this angle, this is opposite. This is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. So opposite and adjacent says that that's going to be tangent. So tangent theta is going to equal opposite, which is 2, over adjacent, which is 2.65. Okay, now that's been rounded, but um, you know what, it's okay. We're just going to have to uh, deal with it. Because when you round, start rounding your answers, and you find new answers off of your rounded answers, it makes them less and less accurate. But um, we're going to just go with it for now. But you know what? Actually, look, we have this 2.6. Here's our non-rounded answer, so let's do this. We're going to do, I think this will work, second tangent of 2 divided by second answer of 2 divided by your answer. Oh, yeah, that's gonna, I'm, I'm feeling good about that. That's going to work. 37.1, so theta equals 37.1 degrees. Okay? Okay, and that's uh, that's all we have. Okay, so if you have any further questions on any of these problems or anything else from the assignment, please feel free to ask. Thanks.